Punchang sagi is a technique of applying white slip-on to a dark clay body. This pottery was named Punjang Hwechong Sagi, Punjang Sagi ensured by an art scholar Ko Yusop. The Punjang Sagi technique was created about 5 to 600 years ago in Korea during the 14th to the 16th century in Joseon Dynasty. Punjang potters could freely make various styles of decoration on the pot using white slip. They are characterized by spontaneous designs that can be unflattering yet curiously humorous. This style gradually merged with white porcelain and almost disappeared behind the curtain of Korean pottery history. Fortunately, the unique beauty of Bunchong Sagi was rediscovered and revived in Korea. Nowadays, more and more Korean ceramic artists are challenging and exploring the creative possibilities of using white slip in conjunction with modern art. Bunchong Sagi truly makes a strong statement of strength and creativity within ceramic art history. Hello, my name is Yang Shin Kim, residing in Orange County, California. I'm a ceramic artist and an educator. I became so attracted to the Puncheong pottery because of its earthy, simple, and spontaneous beauty. Doesn't something about them look very modern with their bold designs and simple patterns? It is the main techniques that I have been using on my pieces and I have been also teaching this technique in my classes at the Mercantile Cultural Center for past 15 years. I'm going to explain about um, various styles of Puncheong decoration with my sample pieces. There are seven different styles to decorate pottery with white slip. I'm going to demonstrate how to make an um, incising design. You get a leather hard uh, piece and brush the, the part with a white slip. And um, you get a sharp point tool and draw your, um, you know, your design. So when you're etching your design into this part, you know, the white slip got peeled off and um, the bottom dark lines are revealed. And after you finish this one and let it dry until it got bone dry, and then you're gonna fire. And after that, you put a clear glaze on and fire it. Then you're gonna get a finished piece. I approached uh, this technique with modern viewpoint incorporating influences of modern art, world, and society at large. I truly appreciate and see Puncheong as a gem of Korean ceramic art. Joseon white porcelain is defined as white porcelain fired at a high temperature. After the Bunchong period between the late Korea and early Joseon dynasty, Joseon was influenced by the white porcelain of the Ming dynasty, resulting in the creation of Joseon white porcelain. The white porcelain of Joseon showed purity and restraint. The problem here was getting quality white clay. 
the white clay of the Ming Dynasty began with the discovery of pure white kaolin. A similar but less white kaolin was found in Choson, and a state factory was built near the capital to make white porcelain used by the royal family. The kaolin had to be fired at a high temperature because of the melting temperature was higher than the ordinary clay. However, the potters of Joseon overcame this issue and made beautiful Joseon white porcelain. Contemporary Korean pottery has two main areas of focus. Traditional pottery that recreates the work of the past and contemporary pottery influenced by Western culture. Contemporary pottery has developed into sculptural ceramics by freely utilizing materials and techniques such as white porcelain and bunchong. Finally, Korean pottery will overcome the limitation of materials and technique through steady research and development. Like the great development of thousand years ago, it will develop again in 2020 through the collaboration of science and art for a new future.